Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben, the master taster. And today we have the honor to taste one of the very, very rare whiskies from Scotland. It's a Rosebank, 30 years of age, vintage 1990, bottled 2020, 48.6% ABV, cast strength and priced well, 2,500. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that always leads the question. Why? Should you open it? <laughs> should you open it? Or is this a bottle? If you had it, would you open it? Would you try it? Or would you just do it as collector or investment? Just write it down in the comments below. Yeah. yeah. So Rosebank, <laughs> I'd been there first time in 1994 mm -hmm. and it was just closed. So it was it's closed in 1993. It's in Falkirk in the, well, the Iron Belt of Scotland and directly at the Forth and Clyde Canal. And uh, there it was one of the distilleries producing the very heart of Scotland. And then it was closed. But it was a city distillery, right? Uh, on the outskirts of the city. Today it's quite in the city. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the city has grown a lot. And uh, yeah, and it was sold in 2019 to the independent bottler Ian McLeod. And I think they reopened it in 2020 or or they started renovation in 2020 mm -hmm. and 2022. I think now they are produ producing a uh, single malt whiskey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we had uh, really difficulties to open that. Yeah, it's really difficult. It's, uh, it comes in a cardboard box and now this one, it is a screw on. So once you've loosened it, it's pretty easy to open it. But uh, at the beginning, for us, it was really hard to open it. And I think it was because of the bottle stuck in there and stuck at the very top. So friction was too, too much. Fri friction was too much, but it's a uh, uh, screw on and it's not a left thread. It's a normal thread. <laughs> <laughs> we had a discussion if it's a left thread. No, it's not a left thread. Ah. Yeah, that's why it was so hard. <laughs> Incredible! I don't it doesn't want to. fall over very easy. Yeah, it's a typical lowlander with um, refill casks, 62% sherry and 38% uh, bourbon. Release number one, so they will have more mm -hmm. on this heavy bottle. And here's a stripe. Uh, 2,800 euros gets you quite a bottle. Oh, which 2,498. Is... Yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, that's around, oh, how much is that? About 2,700, 2,800 dollars, something like that. Depends on <laughs> which course you get. Heavy metal stopper on the cork. That's really a lot of metal in this, this packaging. I can smell it from here. Mm. Oh. And then there are roses here on the neck. Wonderful. Oh, 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 a, a drop went over. <laughs> so it might not be. It even has a metal plaque at the, at the front. Yeah, incredible. I can already smell it from here. Mm -hmm. oh, no close ups today. <laughs> I forgot my close ups. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> So I'm able to smell the 48.6 ABV. So there's a light alcoholic note on the top. Very smooth, very mild. Fruity. Vanilla. Pears. And then spiciness, of course, arises after 30 years of maturation in refill casks, like nutmeg. Mm. Yeah, probably. Mm. Yeah, let me expand on that with the uh, the alcoholic note. I think it really smells of a lot of fruit, fresh fruit, fresh apples, and also, I think, fermented apples. A little bit of fermented apples is in there as well. 
I don't know if that is the the alcoholic note you had or if it's a spirit note. And a lot of vanilla, a lot of fruit, a little bit of spiciness going on. So it's a little bit too fresh for like one of these Christmassy spirit characters, but it's a wonderfully smooth around the edges, very soft apples, just a bit ripe and overripe apples, I would say. Nice. Very mature. Mm. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. There's a juicy, oily, sweet syrup note in it. Then the oak is coming really hefty and mouth-watering, light orange juice, a little mint in the back, a little cooling, probably the higher ABV. Um, it's sad it has uh, more than 60% ex-sherry cast and uh, roughly 40% Ex bourbon cast, and this mixture shows the the oak from the sherry casks. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm. The oak is nice. The oak is just um, not bitter, not at not all. Not bitter at all, but it's strong. It's I would say the main note in there is oak, but it's a very very pleasant oak, and it feels like something like a. I don't know, you would sit in a cellar with some oak table or oak casks around you and you do have other flavors in there as well. Like yeah. it has a bit of a fruitiness, it has a bit of a spiciness going on, but the oak is very present and very, very in interesting. I feel the, mm. the oiliness, you have the, the legs on the wall mm. of the glass, the oiliness, uh, lightly sweetness, juiciness, syrup, Wonderful drum, really. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this whiskey is um, produced mm. on three pot stills and they had uh, warm tubs. So they have mm. the combination of triple distillation for a smoother whiskey, but warm tubs, which typically leads to a less contact with copper Spicy. and more spiciness so this is a very interesting mixture and then the very long maturation yeah second sip did add up to the fruitiness and a bit of the spiciness now i have vanilla and caramel as well mm. oh it's a really good one mm. no it's a shame that they've closed rosebank and they now they are starting all over because uh, that would be nice to have a like 25, 18 year old, 15 year old, mm -hmm. 16 year old, something like that go around there. That would be really interesting. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm. So mm -hmm. really a nice one. And when they're writing release number one on that, probably there will be a release number two. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they're not selling that well, prices will go down. Mm -hmm. If they're selling well, next one <laughs> will cost 3000 <laughs> Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So very rare. If you can get your hands on one of them, you are very lucky because they are not available very, very easily. So mm -hmm. to get one, you have to have a, a great look around and a deep pocket. Did they write a number of bottles on it? No. Nope. But don't think they have um, that many casks around there. They do not write a cask number on it, so probably might be more than one cask. I would say, yeah, a few more. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was our take with the Rosebank 30 years old, 1990. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.